was good, y'all. I'm super hyped to get into these absolutely behemoth Golurk busts and changes. Uh, before I get into that, I want to have a quick and probably obvious, if you're looking at this, and this is the first impression, pun not intended, of my hack. Um, you know, this is probably not looking like your average one of the mill ROM hack. I've taken careful love and care to buff every single Pokemon to the point where they're all viable and fun to use and unique from one another. Uh, and there are many new, many new pseudo legendaries and also 575 based on total Pokemon, which I call semi pseudos. Uh, in this case, Golurk is now actually one of several two stage 600 based on total Pokemon. Steelix. Gyarados, Waylord, Milotic, and now Golurk is the fifth one. Milotic I only did because Gyarados was one, otherwise I would have made Milotic a semi-pseudo or even just a 550 based on total Pokemon, which is very uh, a very common benchmark in this hack. Uh, but Steelix, Waylord, Golurk, Gyarados, like these are giant uh, two-stage Pokemon, and I mostly just wanted them, for example, in Steelix's case and Golurk's case, I wanted them to just be really fucking bulky and really strong um, because they're huge, and I've tried to base, H base HP a lot more on the size of the Pokemon in this hack, and Golurk obviously is massive, and so I gave him uh, a 129 base HP, which uh, is actually very high for this hack standards. He's probably in the top 10 highest HP stats in the game uh, because other Pokemon have had their HP dropped and their, buff, uh, their bulk buffed. Uh, to make them a little bit more consistent with their sizes. But yeah, in my opinion, Golurk really fits this, uh, you know, it fits the vibe like Steelix and Gyarados do, where he's just this really strong two-stage Pokemon. Um, and he's fucking awesome. So honestly, if you think this is weird or too strong, I don't really give a shit. Um, it's definitely not anything overpowered because you might see this and be like, holy shit, it's, it's broken. It's 150 base attack. It's so OP. Um, Golurk has no boosting abilities. Energy Shield is multi-scale, which is absolutely incredible with his uh, very common weaknesses. Uh, this is one of the Pokemon where this hyping actually does hold it, hold it back uh, in terms of defense. It has some good resistances, but uh, you have a lot of common weaknesses as a Ghost Ground type. You're weak to Water, Grass, Ice, Dark, and Ghost, which isn't the end of the world, but yeah, uh, your resists are pretty good too. Poison four times, Bug and Rock. You actually don't resist Bug anymore, excuse me, uh, but you resist Rock and Poison. And then you have three immunities, Normal, Electric, and fighting so those are really good immunities at least but in general you know it's, it's a really good offensive typing it's incredible actually ghost and ground is incredible dual stab uh but Golduck really appreciates this uh but my point was the 151 base attack is actually kind of I mean, that's nothing crazy in this hack pokemon like hariyama and machamp and other po uh, regular pokemon have uh base stats that high in this hack uh you can check all those out in the description below but uh, Golurk, like I said, has no boosting ability. There are all kinds of Pokemon with lower base attack or special attack that are significantly stronger than Golurk because of the boosting ability, because the way that those abilities work, uh, the nature of them just makes uh, Pokemon way stronger than you would think. Uh, for example, the last video, Dragoon had 130 base attack, but with Tough Claws equal to 180 uh, something. I think it was 184 or something. So, uh, you know, 151 is nothing too crazy. However, his abilities really make him great, and obviously this, this uh, immense bulk: 129 HP, 110 defense, 100 special defense. Again, he is still being hit by very common super effective attacks, not to mention the higher base power of all these moves. He's going to be taking a lot of damage from moves still, at least strong super effective ones, but in general, you can absolutely swallow hits. Um, he has reliable recovery in the form of Sediment, and Multiscale, aka Energy Shield, is very good um, for Golurk because it, it just gives him that great bulk that he can abuse with things like Rock Polish or Weakness Policy. Uh, weak Armor, you might be looking at in comparison and be thinking, huh, that's kind of bad, isn't it? Uh, because you'd rather have Energy Shield, but you wouldn't because Weak Armor gives you that speed boost instantly, so you don't have to use Rock Polish. So you can use Weakness Policy, Weak Armor, switch him in on a super effective attack, and now you have plus two speed and plus two attack. And he also has access to great priority moves in the form of Mach Punch, Bullet Punch, First Impression, Sucker Punch, and Shadow Sneak, all of which are buffed in base power for the most part, not besides Sucker Punch. Uh, and first impression technically isn't either but that's a really good move now you can check that out in the description uh, as well but yeah great priority move shadow sneak especially being a staple in my opinion i would never delete that uh, just because he is relatively slow however when you have that weak armor boost or rock polish boost with max speed investment you are hitting 458 speed so in this oh that's with a plus speed nature excuse me with neutral nature you're hitting 418 speed which outspeeds Literally everything you would ever want outspeed for the most part in game because choice carp is not very common on the AI. They can't abuse it properly. So uh, if you were to speed creep, you can run, for example, 152 or 150, 148 speed EVs. And now you hit 366 speed. Now you outspeed, for example, okay, base 110, I believe hits 350. So let's hit 352. Uh, there you go, 120, 
EVs, 120 speed EVs, and you have speed based 110 speed Pokemon after a plus speed nature of 110 speed Pokemon. So you can really just go and see what the fastest Pokemon of the opponent's team is, and then you can speed creep, put the rest of your EVs in attack and bulk, and then switch in on that super effective attack with weakness policy and get that weak armor boost. Um, there's also a million other things you can do with weak armor. It's a very, very creative ability. I also give them acrobatics because they do learn fly normally in the vanilla games because Golurk obviously can fly. Well, maybe not obviously, but yes, Golurk can fly. So I thought acrobatics is kind of a cute little move that they could use despite being kind of weird just for the, the fact that it really complements his... Uh, his uh, ability is very well, weak armor and energy shield. Energy shield also functions incredibly with uh, multi-scale. <sighs> Excuse me, it's a little bit late. It functions very well with weakness policy as well. However, you're not always going to need that energy shield bulk boost because of your great natural bulk. So uh, weak armor with that instant speed boost definitely has use over energy shield and both of them fit very well. Energy shield fits incredibly well for Golurk if you read the Pokedex. It all talks about how uh, removing the seal on his chest makes his internal energy go out of control. And and, and he's just he's just filled with this energy. Um, same goes for Gola. It talks about he's built from this mysterious clay and, uh, sorry, fashion from clay and his uh, movements are powered by a mysterious energy and whatever. He's this weird automaton guy, right? So I think Energy Shield fits extremely well. And then Weak Armor is obviously because, you know, he is he's literally patched up. He's like an old ancient golem type guy. So, yeah. Um, I really wanted to make Golik a mixed attacker, but there was not enough stat points for that. Uh, if I could make special huge power, he'd be one of the guys that would have it for sure. But it's okay because Palos Hand is a special attacker anyways and has another ghost ground type. So the only two in the game. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what else to say here, honestly. He's just really strong, very good dual stab, very good cover uh, coverage, very good priority moves, very good abilities. That energy shield can be really good just to switch in on a strong attack at any point in the hack. Um, you can get off utility moves a lot easier. You can rejuvenate your energy shield with Sediment or Soul Absorb or Drain Punch. You can run a mean Assault Vest set on Golurk in game as well with like Shadow Sneak and Drain Punch and stuff. Uh, bulk Up would be pretty good with Weak Armor uh, alongside Weakness Policy. So you can get plus two speed, plus three attack in one turn. Pretty damn awesome. And you only have minus one defense in that case, but you're ideally not taking any attacks at that point. Uh, yeah, in general, he's just a great fucking Pokemon. Nothing too overpowered or crazy uh, for the attack standards. He's just another great Pokemon. Every Pokemon is great, so... Yeah, uh, you get really strong moves late game. Uh, Z Spectrify could be pretty funny with Energy Shield or Weak Armor to get plus three speed with Weak Armor or just be really bulky with Spectrify and Energy Shield. That gives you plus one to all your stats and turns the opponent into a part Ghost type. Uh, he has really good physical Ghost stat now in the form of Spectral Thief. Phantom Force and Shadow Force, all of which are buffed. Um, so those are really reliable. Also, Shadow Punch is buffed for earlier in the game as 80 base power. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going off for too long here, but you guys can see all of the powerful coverage and stab moves that he gets and see what these do in the description below uh, if you don't recognize a move. And if you do recognize a move, still check it out because I promise you it's probably buffed or changed. Uh, Trick Room is a huge one with Energy Shield. Um, Trick Room is a neutral priority, so you can slap a Quick Claw on there and get that really fast uh, Trick Room uh, going with Quick Claw, because Quick Claw is now changed as well. Um, yeah, that's about it. Great Trick Room on later on in the game, but honestly, it's still kind of niche. You'd probably rather run just run bulkier sets or weak armor sets or energy shield stuff, but Trick Room is still a good option. Uh, in general, he's just a goat. I love Goldark if you can't sell. Super underrated Pokemon. Uh, it's, it's It really does fit to have these crazy high stats for Goldark, in my opinion, so... I think he deserves it. Thank you so much for listening, everybody. Sorry for the little bit more ranty video. It's a little bit late, but I wanted to get this out anyways. Hopefully you enjoyed these buffs and changes. Again, he can function really good defensively as well. Um, despite having a lot of weaknesses, he's also just really tanky and has solid resists. Well, only two technically, but good immunities and stuff. So yeah, that's about it. Peace, everybody.